Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. I'm so excited to stamp with you tonight. I also have a bunch of cards to share with you. Oh my gosh, we're going to stamp first and then we'll do our meal call. My birthday's coming up this week. It's on Saturday. And so I've been getting so many birthday cards and also some anniversary cards. And my mailbox has been very happy. Thank you so much for all the happy mail. I'm going to show you all the cards that I've received. But before we get to happy mail, we're going to make some cards. I'm super excited about this brand new kit from Stampin' Up. It's called The Best Remedy. And I thought this kit was just the cutest. Are you guys familiar with Stampin' Up kits? They come in these boxes. So, so cute. And everything that you need to make a set of cards comes inside. Um, so this one caught my eye because of the bright colors and the really awesome layouts. And so it just came out July 1st. So I added it to my order and it just came the other day. Um, and so I, I think this is really cute, but also I was just really inspired by the layouts. And so tonight I'm going to make one of each of these cards and then I'm going to make a second card with the same layout using the storybook gnome designer paper. <laughs> I feel really challenged by, um, by this paper, I have to say. Let me show you in the mini catalog. So this is the July through December 2022 Stampin' Up! mini catalog. And on page 42 and 43 is the storybook gnomes designer paper and sweet. And I think I mentioned this in my unboxing video. I'm just not a fan of the gnomes. Like, I don't know. I'm definitely not going to get the stamp set and the dies. Like, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. It just doesn't do anything for me. Leave a comment. You let me know. Do you like them? Yay or nay? I feel like they're very, um, <laughs> polarizing, right? Like there was another gnome set that was in the catalog that I just thought was the cutest. And I don't know, these just seem weird to me, like the proportion or something. I don't know. But one of the things I love about doing a product share is that you get to have a little bit of everything. And so I have a little bit of the designer paper. Um, and I love that I can create a little bit with the gnomes without having to have all the gnome stuff, right? So in my product share, you get six by six pieces of all the designer paper from the new mini catalog. And so because I've got a six by six set for myself, I thought I need to challenge myself <laughs> to make some cards with the storybook gnome designer paper. So this is a 12 by 12 paper. And let me just show you the patterns here. We've got some trees and some forest friends some snowflakes. Oh, I love the mountains and the trees. And one thing that's really fun about the Storybook Gnome designer paper, I think you can see it in some of these patterns, is that we have diverse little gnomes. We've got gnomes with different skin colors, and I love that Stampin' Up! is being more inclusive and diverse in their offering. So we also see this in the Santa Express designer paper. We've got some new stamp sets that are a little bit more culturally diverse in their imagery and I just think that's really awesome. So um, I love I love that we have lots of options for our gnomes. Not only do we have bearded gnomes but we got girl gnomes with the braids. I love that. Um, so we've got some like snow like this reminds me of, like a sweater. Um, we've got the little mushrooms and the toadstools whatever you call them. <laughs> I love this one. This this might be my favorite pattern. Um, of the gnomes because I feel like there's just like little scenes that you can you know cut out or punch I think those are kind of fun and I really love the colors I think that's I think that's a big part of this one I love that soft sea foam in the background and then more snowflakes I am I am drawn I would say more to the snowflake side just because I feel like it's more versatile with different stamp sets so tonight we're making three cards with the best remedy card kit and then we're going to make three cards using um, the storybook gnome designer paper. And because I don't have 
the stamp set, I'm relying on the images from the designer paper. And I love that we, our designer paper really has a lot more imagery that can be cut out and used like that. Either die cut if you have the coordinating dies or, you know, fussy cut. So lots of different options. Hopefully the cards that I make tonight will inspire you if you got the storybook gnome designer paper or if you got it in the product share. Maybe you'll have some ideas. So let's get started. The kit collection, let me first show you um, is there an item number on this? Maybe not. I'll definitely put it in the video description. The kids collection comes with the ones that come with a stamp set also have an ink spot and a block. So if you're a first time stamper, if you're stamping for the first time with one of Stampin' Up's kits, you're going to have everything that you need inside this box to make cards. And look how big this stamp set is. This is a big one. We have a little skunk and that looks like a little um, ice pack, a, a base of flowers, some ice cream, um, a um, ice cream cone, and then a lot of sentiments. Let me read them to you. A little birdie told me you were under the weather. Feel better soon. I'm here for you. Sorry, life stinks sometimes. Uh, even though this stinks, dot, dot, dot. Um, well, that stinks. <laughs> I love the play on the skunk. Ice cream is the best remedy for this. So this is a really big stamp set. I love that. And then in addition to that, we get a starry sky ink spot and a clear block to mount the stamps on. We've got some adhesive plus some fun little sequins that are self-adhesive. All of our card kits include envelopes and they're usually pretty cute. So I love that we've got some fun colors here. Aren't these just colors fantastic? Starry sky, granny apple green, and crushed curry. Oh, thank you so much, Tony, for putting the um, for putting the item number and the price in there. Um, and look at all these pieces. So in these card kits, you also get die cut pieces, embossed pieces sometimes too, um, so that you can just punch them out and get your cards put together. Look at these cuties. Oh my gosh. I have to say, when I first saw the picture, I was like, okay, but I think they're so cute, even cuter in person than I, than I thought they were online. So we've got um, the skunk and the little mouse with ice cream and the little bird that looks so sad and sick. Oh, poor birdie. Uh, we also have some really fun card bases that have some printing and some designs on them and then some more die cut pieces. Okay, so I'm going to go through the cards. We're going to make them one by one. And then, like I said, we're going to make the other ones. So let's just step through them. We're going to start first with our bird. Do, 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 do. I got all the pieces ready to go. The only thing I need to do is get out the words. So this one is going to say, a little birdie told me you were under the weather. Oh. So let's put that on a block. You know what? I should use the black it came with. <laughs> I am going to use my own Starry Sky ink pad though. I like to save those and keep them sealed up so I can give them away. Okay, well this one's got some really simple stamping. We're just gonna stamp the words on this die cut label. And this is what I love about the kits is they, they just come together so easily. Okay, so now we're going to do some layering. And the kit does come with some glue dots and some Stampin' Dimensionals. Um, so let's go ahead and get those out. I have to say, though, I really don't like the glue dots. So I'm going to use my own adhesive, just some regular Stampin' Seal. So I'm starting with this piece down here. Um, it's got a really great diagonal texture on it. And this piece is two inches by five and a half, and that's going to go over here on the left side. And then our our poor little birdie is going to go on some Stampin' Dimensionals. And I tend to use a lot of Stampin' Dimensionals, so um, maybe on one of these layers you might choose to um, do something different and not have so, so many Dimensionals. But I am going to add some Stampin' Dimensionals under both the words and the bird. And then, you know what? I don't know. I was gonna add more Stampin' Dimensionals under the green, but maybe I'll just put that down regular. So that's gonna go right down here. And I will use regular adhesive. <laughs> 
Uh oh, did I miss something? My other left. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I <laughs> sometimes I can't follow your comments really well. So I'm sorry if I missed something. Karen, I'm not sure what you mean by the other left. Maybe I was grabbing something. All right, well, these cards come with some sequins, so we're gonna add a few to this card to decorate it. And on the sample, there are five sequins, so let's go ahead and do the same. We're gonna do three in one corner and two in the other. There's our first card. Look how fast that was. A little birdie told me you were under the weather. Well, I have some things cut and ready to go. Isn't this cute? Here's the measurements. I'll put them in the video description. So if you don't get the best remedy card kit and you can measure the pieces yourself, here are the measurements and you can follow along as I make this card using the storybook gnome. So I have the same dimensions. I'm using a two inch, oh, mine looks a little bit bigger. Maybe that should be a little smaller, but we're gonna go with it because it's already cut. Uh, so this is two inches by five and a half inches. And then I have a Calypso coral piece that's two inches by three and a half. And that's gonna go on the side. And I fussy cut my gnome. So we're gonna use some Stampin' Dimensionals to pop her up. And I've got a little piece of cardstock. This is just like three quarter inches by three. Oh, <laughs> I, I just saw your comment, Karen. Yep, oops. <laughs> I think I said the blue strip was going on the left, but it, I put it on the right. <laughs> oh, sometimes I don't know what to do with myself. Well, I don't have a stamp set to go with the storybook gnomes, so I'm going to use the Inspired Thoughts stamp set on all my cards tonight. This one's in the annual catalog, and it carried over, and I just love the variety in this stamp set. We've got thanks so much, congratulations, sending healing thoughts, thinking of you on your special day with heartfelt sympathy, hello. There's even some Christmas in here so I I love this I think there's a lot a lot to work with so I'm going to use the thanks so much and I'm going to stamp that onto um onto our little piece and I think the better match here is Pacific Point so I'm going to use Pacific Point ink and before I do that I think I'm going to do some cutting. I really like how this one has some angles going on. So I'm going to do the same kind of angle. And honestly, I'm just eyeballing it. <laughs> so um, no, no special trick there. I just cut off, um, cut off the sides. So let's add thanks so much. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. So Let's add this and get it on the card. And then we're going to definitely want some bling. I don't want to use my bling from the Best Remedy Kit. So I'm going to pull out and see what I have to use for bling. One of my favorites is the new Seasonal Sequins. Hmm. I don't know where I put put my package though. So we might have to grab something else. Oh, you know what I have? <gasps> yes, the fine sparkle adhesive back gems. This is from the Storybook Gnome Suite and it coordinates with the paper. I forgot I had these. These are so gorgeous. I love the pearlized, faceted gems. We've got four different colors here. Calypso Coral, Pale Papaya, um, some light Pacific Point, and, and like a pool party maybe? Um, oh my gosh. So now we have to pick which color we want to use. I'm leaning toward the lighter color here. Um, I know you guys are... <laughs> 
You guys sometimes are so mad at me when I only put two, so. I think I'm only gonna do it in the corner there. Are they, are they too light? Mm, maybe, ooh, 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 how about the pale papaya? Let's just pick that up. These will stick out a little bit more. Oh yeah, that's good. I think I am gonna only keep them in the corner though, like that. <laughs> yes, Janice says this is what she likes about a lot of the designer paper is that you can use the images to make cards without having the, st the stamps. Exactly, exactly, I love this. And there are so many designer papers um, that you could use you know, and do the same kind of thing with. So I think these layouts, like honestly, I, I could probably do these layouts with every designer paper, <laughs> you know, and every stamp set that's in the catalog. Melissa, I do think the Calypso Coral matches her hair really lovely, but since I already have the big Calypso Coral background, I wanted to choose a different color. So that's why I went with the lighter color. Okay, that was card number one. We have our best remedy card and our storybook gnome card. Let's move on to card number two. For this one, we're using um, the little skunk. I'm going to put this aside and you'll have to wait and see which ones I picked out. <laughs> um, so for this one, you know, we need to clean our stamp here so that we can use the block. So if you're just brand new to stamping, um, you can use the same clear block for all of your stamps and just clean it and put it back and then um, get your next stamp out. So the one I'm using here is called a stamping chamois. <laughs> Mine is really messy. <laughs> um, it's normal for that to get stained. I have it in a clear stamp case um, just to keep it moist while I'm stamping, but you do want to kind of let that dry out in between. Um, all right, for this, Card, we're going to use two different stamps. This one says, even though this stinks playing on that skunk, um, then we're going to use I'm here for you. And I'm going to use both sides of my block. This is something I do if I'm limited on my, um, on my on my clear blocks, I can put one on one side and one on the other so that I can use them at the same time and just, you know, reverse sides. So this one, we're gonna have some stamping on the heart and then we're also gonna have some stamping on the white piece. So again, we're using the Starry Sky. That's the color that comes in the kit. And Starry Sky is a new in color. I love the new in colors. This is the darkest one, the darkest of the blues. Okay, okay, now you can clean that if you want, or I'm just gonna flip it over and just ink the other side. And then this is going to go real gentle pressure. Since this is a new ink pad, I do not need to push very hard. <laughs> if you push too hard, you may get ink all around on your block and then it could transfer to your project. So that, that kind of stinks, <laughs> pun intended. So, um, especially with new ink pads that are really juicy, a real light tap tap will be just enough ink um, to make your design. Okay, let's get this card put together. So we've got our die cut heart blue. This is part of the kit. And this is going to go kind of, I guess it's almost in the middle. I was gonna put it on the side just a bit. Um, and then we're gonna use some stamp and dimensionals underneath our die cut skunk. Hi everybody, I'm so glad you guys are joining me tonight. I'm really excited about these cards because we're making up a card kit, but then we're also making some cards with our own designer paper and making our own version of the card kit cards. So I think that's super fun. All right, well this one, our dimensional is too big kind of to go under here. So here's a little tip when you have a skinny piece is you can cut your, um, your borders of the Stampin' Dimensionals and use those on skinny little strips like this. We also have mini Stampin' Dimensionals, which weren't included in this kit, but you can also use those for really skinny pieces. Okay, even though this stinks, 
I'm here for you. Oh, I love that. And on this one, we're going to use some of these cute little flower sequins. Oh, I love that. Isn't that adorable? And again, so quick and easy. That was not a good fold. <laughs> Let's try that one again. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's so quick and easy. Well, I, again, I just love the layout. So we're busting out some soft suede for this card. I've got soft suede that's five and a half by eight and a half. The designer paper is the same as the inset layer here, which is three, two and three quarters by four and a half. And then instead of a heart, I have a die cut circle. And instead of the skunk, I have some fussy cut forest friends from our from our designer paper and then I have a little piece of um, cardstock that is just like a half inch by three inch. I'll have the measurements in the video description for you. Um, Karen says, I wish they had dimensionals half as thick for multiple layers. Well, the you know, the ones that come in the kit are a little bit thicker than the ones that we can get in the catalog. Um, I think they are just like a little bit. So um, these are pretty thin, the ones that we get. So I think you could stack those up and have you know, multiple, multiple layers of dimension. Um, all right, now I just have an inside piece for this card because it is a brown card base. So I wanted to make sure that we'd be able to write a message inside and be able to see it. So these are extra pieces. It's just four by five and a quarter inch and then just a little like three quarter inch by five and a quarter inch for the um, designer paper strip. So this is gonna go on the inside of the card. And if we want to, we can add um, some inside words. Some of these, um, some of these stamps in the Inspired Thoughts stamp set do have some second half of the greeting, second part. Uh, all right. Well, we've got snowflakes here, so maybe we'll want to do a wintry kind of greeting. Let's see what this stamp set has. Okay. I have to tell you though, look at these, look at these animals. A lot of these in the, the, a lot of the forest friends in the storybook gnomes have their eyes closed and I'm kind of feeling like they look like they're sleeping. <laughs> Is it just me? Do they look like they're sleeping? Um, let me find that paper that has all the animals on it. Cause like every single one of them has their eyes closed. Well, okay. The fox doesn't and the, uh, these guys are awake, but everybody else is sleeping. So, <laughs> so I kind of feel like, is the moose sleepwalking? Because clearly he's walking. He's like in motion. Wait, I was thinking maybe we needed to add. Does that, he looks like he's got bags under his eyes now. <laughs> now we got our eyes open these cute little friends together <laughs> they look like they need a nap instead of napping i'm going with it maybe they're maybe i just need to make it bigger and like embrace the giant eye <laughs> did i make it worse i don't know <laughs> okay <laughs> I think the moose is good, but the bird I'm really concerned about. <laughs> like the, the bird might be dying because he's so, um, <laughs> we need to cut a new bird. Um, <laughs> I feel like the bird's eye looks like it's going to pop out of its head and, um, <laughs> he might, he might not survive. So we'll let, we'll let the bird take a nap on the back of the moose, but we're, we're going to, we're going to let the moose be awake for our card. Um, <laughs> I got the giggles now. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I should have tried it first. <laughs> I should have tried it before I did it live. Okay. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> we're going to use brown ink 
And let's see what we've got here. You know what I would really love is like a, something about friendship. Maybe we should just leave the bird off. I don't know. <sighs> okay, you make a difference every day. We might just need a bigger, a bigger piece. Ooh, maybe that thinking of you on your special day is gonna work. Okay, let's let's find out. If it doesn't, we'll just cut a bigger piece. <gasps> Ooh, I haven't used this stamp yet. I always love that. So, you guys have probably seen this a bunch of times, but this is how I mount my stamps. I put the sticker, I peel the sticker off the sheet and I put it on the block. And then I take the paper backing off. So now this is sticky and I take the paper backing off the foam and I make sure that we're going the right way and we're not upside down. And I put that face down with the foam up and then I match it, I hover and I push down. And that way we get nice even pressure, no bends or bubbles in there and it sticks nicely to the, to the block. Okay. And if you're new, I feel like I'm really talking to newbies tonight. If you're new and you haven't stamped before, this is the other kind of stamp we have. So we have photopolymer stamps, which are the clear ones, and the red rubber, which are the red, the, the red rubber ones. <laughs> um, but the red rubber ones have little stickers that you can put on there so that you can see what you're stamping. All right, that fit kind of perfectly. Um, let's add a little, a little, um, a little angle because that's how our other one was and we're trying to match right and then for the inside there's an inside sentiment that seems really fun let's use that one it says it's time it's your time to be remembered to feel appreciated and to know you're celebrated that's kind of nice let's put that on the same way sticker first there is a break right there. Sometimes you can get that in the middle. And make sure it's right side up. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Should we? Should we put our wide-eyed bird inside? <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay. <laughs> well, let's get our card layered up. We're going to use some regular adhesive on the back of the die-cut circle. We're going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of the moose, who is no longer sleepwalking. <laughs> and his friend, little bird, is going to be taking a nap on his shoulder. because he can't fly and sleep at the same time. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> okay, I feel like he was marching up a little bit. Let's put our, our bird on the shoulder. Let's get our sentiments on some Stampin' Dimensionals and add that to our card. Oh yeah, that's good. Now we need some, um, some sequins, not sequins, faceted gems. And I like the contrast of the color there and using the Calypso Coral. So we're going to add three of them right there. Okay, so we have our card kit version, the best remedy, and the storybook gnomes. So stinking cute. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready for card number three? Check out this cute mouse. Okay, this one might be my very favorite because, I mean, he's so cute. <laughs> really, honestly, I think it is the colorful card base, the texture of the pink layer, and then also the cute, oh, I had two pieces there. Save that one for another card. And the cute, 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 cute mouse. 
Okay, so that's gonna go centered right there. Then we have a little piece of um, yellow polka dot. I'm gonna call it designer paper. It's a die cut, but I mean, it's it's the consistency of paper. It sounds like food. <laughs> it's the thickness of designer paper. All right, we've got our cute little mouse and the words that go on this card say, ice cream is the best remedy for this. Yup. <laughs> Ice cream is the best remedy for everything, isn't it? <laughs> when things are just not quite right, sometimes a little ice cream is just perfect. Okay, so tell me, uh, oops, I was supposed to use my other block. Oh, whatever. Uh, tell me what your favorite flavor of ice cream is. We have this ice cream that we've been getting. Gosh, what brand is it? <sighs> I don't remember if it's like Prairie Farms or if it's a bunny brand or something, but it is chocolate covered cherry. It's a cherry ice cream with like bits of chocolate in it. And oh my goodness, I'm not a huge ice cream fan, but mm, that hits the spot. I love that. Last night I had some chocolate ice cream that also really hit the spot with some Reese's peanut butter cup on top. We were at Culver's and um, I, Culver's is a, like a, a fast food place that has burgers, so burgers and fries, and they're known for their custard. And um, so I always get the kids meal because I, I don't eat a lot. And so the kids portions are always just perfect. Well, the kids meal comes with a free scoop of custard. And so um, we took Elise to basketball practice. And after that, we went back to Culver's in the evening and we got our free scoop. It's like a little coupon on the kids meal bag that you can take back. So it worked out perfectly. We ate our food and then we went and did our practice and then we went back for ice cream it was just a perfect treat to end the evening of course we've got to have some bling so let's do let's do some blingy bling i love these sequins they're just so fun and i love that they're self-adhesive so they make it really easy to put together i don't know i never know where to put the third one <sighs> Three. <laughs> okay. I just need to angle this differently. Okay, there we go. Five. Yes, bunny ice cream. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you have that one? Yes. It must have been Blue Bunny. Thank you, Nancy, for reminding me. <laughs> oh, you guys, all your ice cream flavors. I'm so, I'm so ready for some more ice cream. I don't know. I think the reason that I'm not a big ice cream fan is it doesn't always agree with me. And um, so I just prefer other treats <laughs> that agree more with my belly. <laughs> All right, here are the measurements. We've got our storybook gnome ready to go. So um, on this one, I wanted to use designer paper for the background, like this one has the stripes. And I was gonna have it be the full the full length, but then I accidentally cut it to too small. So uh, the card base is five and a half by eight and a half Pacific point. Then we've got four by five and a quarter for the designer paper for the front. Uh, because the designer paper or the background was a little bit smaller, I did cut my balmy blue just a little bit smaller than that, um, that pink layer, but it's still the same proportion. So my piece is three inches by four and a quarter. And then I've got designer paper that's one and a quarter by three and a half. Our cute little gnome. I fussy cut him from the designer paper. And then I love this shape, but we don't have a punch like that. So I used a different punch and I punched a tag um, for this card. So cute. I love it already and I haven't even put it together. Let's see what we've got here for a sentiment. This one actually does have a really nicely sized 
peace, joy, and love. And since we got some snowflakes going on here, I think we should embrace that and do a Christmas card. So let's do the peace, love, joy, which, oh, also hasn't been used. And our inside sentiment. You know what? I don't think I cut another white piece. I'll have to do that so we can have a bit for the inside. Okay, so here's some stamps. Um, there we go. I'm going to get a smaller one. Okay, so for the inside, we're going to do our quick stamp mounting again. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Oh, you guys are getting a lot of cards tonight. I mean, they're fast, but six cards plus we're almost done. And then I'm going to show you my mail call. Oh my gosh. So many amazing cards from you guys that I received for my birthday and for my Stampin' Up! anniversary, which was just two weeks ago. I can hardly believe it has been 20 years that I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Oh my goodness. Time flies. Time flies when you're having fun. Okay. We're going to use Pacific Points. Just making sure they're straight on the block. We're going to use Pacific Point again. And it's kind of, it's kind of a big tag, but it works. And then a piece for, a piece for the inside. Actually, I started cutting it and I just didn't finish earlier. There we go. Maybe since we have this out, we'll just add a little. <laughs> well, I, I always, I don't like to have a naked inside, right? I gotta dress it up a little bit. And since they don't have the storybook gnome stamps, we'll use some designer paper. That's a really easy way to dress up the inside of your card. Okay, now we just have some gluing and embellishing. Oops, there goes all my trash. Get back over there. <laughs> all right, this is gonna go on the inside of the card. Doot, 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 doot. Yay, Marilyn just got this kit. It's so cute. In the online store at juliedavison.com slash shop, there's a whole section of kit collection. And I've showed them a lot, like over, over the course of the year or two that they've been out. Um, so you've kind of been seeing them here and there. And they have been releasing a new kit just about every single month. Last month it was a little scrapbook kit, like a little... Um, I wanted to say brag book, but it was just kind of like a little notebook with different cards and stickers and stamps and super, super cute, really kid friendly. So if you're going on vacation with the kids and you want to let them um, kind of make notes and scrapbook their um, their trip. Hold on, quick tear apart because we didn't do that yet tonight. <laughs> it wasn't centered quite exactly i just want to move that over um so the the little scrapbook kit that was last month's and we have um like a cute little robot kit and there's another one that's really fun with like mini cards that's really good to take on vacation like if you're going on a cruise and want to leave little thank you notes for your attendant um what other kits do we have Oh, the birthday kit. Light the candles. I really, really, really love that kit for birthday cards. It's super fun, and it's got some glitter on it, too. Anyway, you should check it out. If you like quick and easy cards, um, there are a lot to choose from. And I like to do both, right? I like quick and easy cards, but then I also love to do my own thing and dress up my cards and, you know, do do fun things. So that's what we're doing tonight. We're doing a little bit of both. A little bit of 
leave it at three. Yep, I'm leaving it at three. <laughs> We're doing a little bit of kit and a little bit of our own way. So let's review the kits tonight. We did the best remedy kit and we made all the cards from the best remedy kit. And then we also made the cards using um, the gnome designer paper, the storybook gnome paper. So you'll have to tell me which card set you prefer. And I'm not offended if you choose the kit. <laughs> These critters are pretty darn cute. I love the bright colors, but I think I did an okay job with the storybook gnomes. I'm really happy that I was able to make some cards with the gnomes and kind of get that paper out and do some things with it. And I guess I did lean heavy on the snowflakes now that I'm looking at it again. Um, I really maybe should have done a different. I'm looking to see if I can substitute a different designer paper there. Did I, did I cheat too much with too many snowflakes? Maybe I should have had used a little something different. Let's try something. Let's see. I'm gonna do a mini tear up, okay guys? <laughs> I'm gonna do a little mini tear up. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Don't freak out, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. Okay, here's the card with the snowflakes. But when I see it with the other snowflakes, I feel like it's too much. So what if we stretch and did a different design? How do we feel about that paper? And maybe it should go on the dark blue. Hmm. This or that. <laughs> oh, I know what you guys are going to say. Make another one. You guys always say that. Maybe I should make another one. Oh. You don't want to see that. You already saw me make the card. <laughs> oh, but I'll 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 do I'll do some flipping really quick. Okay, so we've got the um the mushroom paper or the snowflake paper. Mushroom paper, snowflake paper. <laughs> Tony, you want another option? Um Tony says, what about just mushrooms? Oh, that was the other side of that one. I don't know. I think I like this one better because it's got like a little bit more color going on. Well, if I wanted variety, I feel like this this paper would give our cards more variety and instead of just so many snowflake images. I'm going to save this one and after the video, I'm going to make a new card. But since this is sticky and this is done, I'm going to put it back for now. But I'm definitely going to make another one. Also, this one is two inches and so our blue one was a little bit bigger, probably like two and a quarter. I like the skinnier piece, I think. Oh, that's good, just leave it, leave it. <laughs> Okay, gnomes, best remedy. You can get all the stuff I use tonight in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. I'll have the links in the video description when we're all done. But before we go, I have a bunch of amazing cards to share with you that I've received in the mail in the last week. So let me do that. Let's get our, our mail call bucket. Oh my goodness. I, I want to just start by saying thank you to everybody who sent me a card it means so much to get your mail and it makes me so happy and it makes me smile and i say this all the time but it's true i know what it feels like to get happy mail and i hope that you do too um and i know that when you're sending cards to your friends and your family that it's making them feel so special and amazing because that's how i feel and your cards 
have that power. They are that amazing. So keep sending, keep sending your amazing cards, keep sharing them with the world, keep doing what you love and making cards and sending them out. Um, if you want to get Happy Meal back, definitely check out my great big card spot. You send a card in and then I mix them up and I send them back. So every time you send a card, you get one back. So I, it's like full circle Happy Meal. It's just, it's so much fun. Some of these cards are doubles from the Great Big Card Swap, including our first one here from Terry Biggs. Check out that fun fold. Oh my gosh, I love this. I've been meaning to try this fold for several years. I don't know what's stopping me. One of the, I just got to sit down and I just got to do it. That is so much fun, Terry. Thank you for celebrating my birthday in such a big way. Oh, look at this beautiful card. This one is from Rachel Tolbert. And Rachel, your note inside just made me so happy. Thank you so much. I love this. I'm not, it almost looks like a napkin. Um, it is just so beautiful, though. And there's a little glitter on there. So, so pretty with the layered colors. I love this. Like a teal and a brilliant blue. Almost a navy. And then that bright blue, like parakeet party. Oh, my gosh. Just so beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here's a card from Deirdre Riley. Oh my gosh. She said, you don't have to show it, but yeah, I do. <laughs> Cause it's amazing. This is the Sending Smiles stamp set bundle from the um, annual catalog. It's got the flowers in there and then the sending dies. It also has a coordinating sending stamp as well. Love this with the starry sky. Just so fun. And then the, um, the stitched, the stitched, um, square frames. So beautiful. I just love it, dear. Thank you so much. Next up is a card from Beth Barney using the new Wonderful World designer paper and stamp set. This is one that you can get during celebration. It's a level two gift that you can get for free with a hundred dollar order. Love these colors. So beautiful. Just so beautiful. Thank you so much, Beth. Next up is a card from Eileen Curry. She sent in two cards, one like this for the great big card swap because the theme this month is birthday. And a second one for me with these party puffins and the shaker, a little abstract beauty designer paper in the background. Oh my gosh, so fun. I feel so celebrated, Eileen. Thank you so much. Next up is a card from Susie Eater. She also sent a duplicate for me when she sent this in for the great big card swap. Susie, thank you for the extra one. Thank you for the birthday wishes. These beautiful colors are fresh freesia and mint macaron, I believe, uh, on a gorgeous grape kind of color card base. Oh, on the inside too. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Susie. Next up is a card from Joanne Prosser. How amazing is this Tahitian Tide? These die cut teacups with the detailed intricate white and then the other images from the cup of tea bundle. So pretty. I love how bright and um, fun these colors are. They just pop makes me so so happy thank you so much joanne next up is a card from linda vanderspool this is another duplicate from the great big card swap this is such a great layout the embossed background and then a diagonal piece of designer paper with a split tag layered tailored tag punch happy birthday thank you thank you thank you thank you linda hey check it out these are the same colors that we just loved on that tea cup of tea card this one's from tony shaw tony thank you thank you thank you thank you i know you've had a really busy month um and so it means so much that you still took the time to send um a card and to make one i love this quilting technique with the different um images and then embossed over the top just really beautiful Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Thank you. Um, next up is a card from Alora Weaver. She sent um, an identical card for the Great Big Card Swap and an extra for me. Alora, thank you. If you didn't see the Great Big Card Swap on Tuesday, this technique she said she saw from Connie Stewart using packing tape on the cardstock to get that shine. I thought that was such a fun and easy way to add shine to your cherries or other, um, other, you know, other things that need shine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cindy, thank you so much for the birthday wishes. My birthday is coming up on Saturday. Um, and, oh, I just realized where that card go. The card from Trina. This was Trina's note, and she had that really amazing card, and I showed you both of them. Um, 
oh, where did it go? Hold on. Sorry, it's taking me a while <laughs> to step over everything. Here's the card from Trina. Do you guys remember this one? Wow, so, so cool. Oh my gosh, I just love this card, Trina. Thank you so much. And if you missed it on Tuesday, here are the measurements from Trina. She said she saw this card um, by Connie Stewart. And so she provided these measurements. So if you want to do a screen grab, you can to get the measurements for this card. Such a fun one. The pop-up pop out fun fold card Trina thank you again for that amazing card if you didn't see the other one there was another one a different color variation and you can check that out in the um, great big card swap video um, I showed both versions of Trina's card here's one from Marcia Boltz or Boltzy I'm sorry Marcia if I mispronounced her name I love this one with the expressions and in ink oh, these flowers are just gorgeous and then some design a daydream designer paper the label is from the Bows of Holly stamp set. I just love that. I haven't gotten it yet, but now it's on my list because I think this label is just so fun. The stamps come from Peaceful Moments, which is a greeting stamp set. So versatile. One of my very, very favorites. Um, okay. Next up is a card from Cecilia Jerry. She used the Celebrating in Color paper pumpkin kit to make this one. Um, and I shared the other one. She sent a different um, Celebrating in Color card for the Great Big Card Swap. Uh, these cards are just so much fun. If you're a paper pumpkin subscriber, you can get a refill of the Celebrating in Color kit in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. Love that with the parakeet party. Thank you, Cecilia, for thinking of me and sending another card. Next up is a card from Belinda Bosch. This one is really fun. We have a little um, front flap and then a bigger one inside. Let's eat cake. I love it. This is a retired stamp set and die, but so much fun. I love these bright colors. Cool Caribbean and Bermuda Bay. Some of my favorites from the brights. And check out how she colored and glittered the word cake. Oh my gosh, that is just so fun. I love it. Thank you so much, Belinda. Here is one. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is from Pat Stewart. She said she cased from Laura Bardo. Oh my gosh, I just love Laura. She is so much fun. And we always, we always hang out with her um, on the incentive trips. I haven't seen her since last year when we were in Maui. Um, anyway, sorry, <laughs> a little, little side, side ramble there. This is the waves of inspiration and look at this little diagonal easel card oh my gosh pat this card is gorgeous it is gorgeous i love the uh waves of the ocean designer paper all the sponging is so beautiful with the die cut in the foil i love that so this is just scored diagonally and then it props up on that corner piece that corner label with stamp dimensionals just gorgeous pat thank you Hey, this is another card from Celebrating in Color. This one was from Cecilia. This one is from Charlotte Nydigger, also from the same paper pumpkin kit. This is a best wishes card. Thank you so much, Charlotte, for thinking of me and sending this for my birthday. It made me so happy to get your card. Don't you just love getting cards for your birthday? Oh my gosh, I do. <laughs> I, I don't know who doesn't. Here's a card from Natalie Haney. This is really beautiful. This die cut with the butterfly. I love the little gems on the middle inside too. Natalie, thank you for sending me an extra card for my birthday. Made me feel so special. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this beautiful card. This is using the Texture Chic. This one's from Karen Nevin. And she um, used the Texture Chic um, Memories and More cards with the paper and the cards and envelopes to layer this card. I love all the bling. And this is an anniversary card. Thank you so much. There's also a birthday card, right? Yes, here's the other card from Karen for my birthday. Oh my gosh, Karen, you just spoiled me with all of your beautiful cards. This one features misty moonlight with some designer paper strips across and then the stamped um, heart and home stamp set. I can't remember the name of the stamp set. The designer paper was heart and home. Just beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Karen. You make me feel so special. 
Oh, this card's from Nancy D. Jellermo. Thank you for the pronunciation key, Nancy. I'm I'm learning. <laughs> this was some of my favorite designer paper from Celebration a couple of years ago. Uh, there's new de designer paper for Celebration that has the white and foil. It's gorgeous. It's got polka dots and stripes, and it's available while supplies last. Free with a qualified order during celebration. $50 order will get you that amazing designer paper with the foil and you could do similar techniques where you're um, sponging color or just using the white and silver on its own. This is a really fun fold. I love that. Just so beautiful. Next up is a card from Sue Wozniak using the pansy, um, the detailed pansy dies. Oh my gosh, so detailed and beautiful here, layering with some sponging and some color. I love the blending in the background, really just makes those poppies just pop right off the card. Just beautiful. Thank you so much, Sue. Next up is a card from Jeannie Hurst. She made an idea identical card for the great big card swap. So if you participated in the swap, you might get this one back too. This is the, oh, she told me what it was. The switch, the shuffle. Oh, something in shuffle. <laughs> I love it. Essentially you cut designer paper in the same way and then you shuffle around and you mix and match the patterns to create your own, um, to create different cards. And yes, Melissa, thank you. Blessings of Home is the stamp set. That's this one here with the flowers. Thank you for helping me think of that. Um, okay, next up is a card from Rose Spivey. Oh, so beautiful. Look at that watercoloring. <gasps> Watercolor paper is amazing. I need to use it a lot more. It, I feel like you can really... Um, just create beautiful images on watercolor paper, doing exactly the same thing as you would do on regular cardstock, but it just always, always looks so much better on watercolor paper. Beautiful. This is um, Purple Posy, I think, in the background for the cardstock, and then almost fresh for each, it looks like. So beautiful. And then on the inside, the hummingbird. Oh, thank you so much, Rose, for your beautiful card more beautiful cards. This one's from Chris Almond and she made a bookmark. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. I love the detailed gold foil. We got the pretty designer paper from the, um, oh, the poppy, peaceful poppies designer paper. And then look at this card. What? It is so beautiful. And this is my favorite part right here. The detail on the, the little faux grommet with the ribbon and the gold twine. Oh my gosh. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous card, Christine. Thank you so much for sending this beautiful card just for me. I know you sent another one as well for the great big card slot, but it, I just felt so special to receive this special card and gift from you. Oh, look at this one. This is from Yolanda Garza, and I really love the simplicity of this layout. We have the deckled rectangles, creating a window for some designer paper, some sponging on a large deckled edge, and then do you guys not just love these brass butterflies? I'm so happy they carried over to the annual catalog because I feel like they are the perfect embellishment for any card. Yolanda, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this card. It is just so beautiful. I really love that idea of the window with the designer paper on the inside. Like white on white is always just so classic. <gasps> Look at that shiny paper. What? This one's from Mesa Sama. And she used some foil paper to do the detail dies. So this is two detail dies. We got the Calypso Coral on top of that foil. Oh my goodness. I can't remember the name of this die set. I think it's still in the catalog, isn't it? Let's have a quick, quick, quick look. Let's see if we can find it. There's so many dies back here. It's hard to keep track sometimes, isn't it? It might have just retired, actually, now that I think about it. Um, there's the brilliant butterfly. Someone was just asking about that today. I think the other butterflies are gone. Yeah, I'm sure we'll have some more soon. <laughs> oh my gosh, so beautiful. I love the way that shines. Thank you so much, Mesa. 
This is an anniversary card from Karen Key. I love these colors with the black embossed greeting. Congrats. And the yellow, black and white and yellow are just so classic. Thank you so much for this card and for helping me to celebrate my 20th Stampin' Up! anniversary. Oh my gosh. You guys are, you just spoiled me with your amazing cards. I can't, I can't get over it. I just feel so blessed last. Here's one from Kathy Hammond. Oh my gosh, Kathy, thank you. I loved this designer paper. It was only available for a short time with the butterflies. This is the same die, I think, right? Um, that, yes, the same die set here. Just so beautiful. And look at these bright colors. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love how you did the inside too with a little bit of designer paper. Thank you so much for the note inside too, Kathy. It made my day. More butterflies. Oh, these colorful cards are just making me so happy. This one's from Lynn Werner, and she's got this gorgeous die cut. Actually, I think that's a dragonfly, not a butterfly. Um, and then a little, I don't know if this the paper came like this or if you colored it. It's just so beautiful. It's got the, the pastel sort of blending and then some Wink of Stella um, on it. It's just, just gorgeous just so beautiful and again I just love the white on white um, with a pop of color beautiful card thank you so much Lynn next up is a card that just arrived in my mailbox today from Katie Good oh my goodness this is the sending smiles along with a charming sentiment it's well-worn um, embossing folder in the background with some um, texture chic designer paper this is such a beautiful layout again the white on white oh my gosh I'm loving this white on the white card base and it, it always just makes the colors pop against it this is so beautiful Katie thank you so much for sending me a card a couple more this one is from Carmen Melendez look at how fun this shaker card is the little perfume bottle with all the detail on there and the foil and that shaker frame is just so amazing oh my goodness Carmen thank you thank you thank you thank you for this fun card I just love it <laughs> it's so hard to get a card like this and not like just sit and play with it isn't it one last card this one is from Winnie oh Winnie was sending me a little note so it's not necessarily for my birthday but I just love that cute little ducky this one is just adorable. A little ribbon on the border there to really set it off. Such an awesome card. Winnie, thank you. And thank you, everybody, who sent in cards for my birthday. I always feel so special when you send in cards, but my birthday just seems like even more, even more special and a reason to celebrate. So thank you for celebrating with me. My birthday is coming up on Saturday and um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. It's going to be a fun day and I um, I know for sure there will be cake involved. <laughs> okay, you guys, that's it for tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the cards that I made tonight and the cards that I shared tonight from the mail call. Thank you again to everybody uh, for sending cards. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. It makes me so happy that I can share and that you're part of my stamping community. Have a great night and I will see you again very soon with another card making video. Bye.